My name is Miss Jenny and I'm so excited to share today's lesson with you. Our theme this summer is called Make Waves. Do you like making waves in a pool or in the ocean? I like making waves in the ocean. Can you name five creatures that live in the ocean? I'll start. A crab, a seahorse, a whale, and a dolphin. Hmm, a stingray. Our story today comes from Luke 2.22. We will see the reward that comes to Simon after he chooses patience. Simon waited year after year after year, so many years of waiting, and then he finally got to see who he had been patiently waiting for, Jesus. Remember, Jesus can help us choose patience. Have you guys enjoyed our worship song, Making Waves? I know I have. Let's try and do all the dance moves together. All right.
Hey friends, I'm Poppy, and this is my new friend Nemo. Say hi, Nemo. Nemo says he likes you. I got Nemo to remind me of our trip to the beach. See, I even put shells in his tank, like at the beach, and some rocks around it. This is Nemo's special fish food. It's so much fun to feed him and watch him eat. I can't wait to show you. But we can't do it yet. If you feed a fish too much, they get sick. We have to wait until both hands on the clock get here. That's so long. <sighs> Waiting is so hard. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? What is that you're waiting to do? Hey, Ollie. I'm waiting to feed my fish until the clock hands are in the right place, but it's taking so long. Waiting isn't easy. It's true. I know someone else who waited too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Come on. Come on. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. Have you ever had to wait for something? Like to open a present at Christmas? Or at the back of a long line? Or for a jack-in-the-box to open? Yes, it's hard to wait sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> and I've got a story for you about that. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. We have everything we need. Our true story from the Bible is about a man named... Simeon. Simeon loved God, and he knew that God was sending someone very special. God told Simeon that he would get to see this very special person. But Simeon didn't know when this very special person was going to come. He had to be patient and wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. He was so patient. He didn't whine and say, Oh, this is taking too long. Or, when is it going to be over? <clears throat> Instead, Simeon was patient and waited. Then, one day, just like God promised, Mary and Joseph brought baby Jesus to the temple. Jesus was the special person that Simeon was waiting for. God's son Jesus was finally here. He had come to be our friend forever. And when Jesus is your friend, he helps you choose to be patient. Like when you want to tell your mom something, but she's on the phone. Choose to be patient and wait with a smile. Or when there's a long line for the bouncy house and you have to wait. Choose to be patient and make a new friend. <laughs> When you have a long car ride and you're ready to get there, choose to be patient and sing a song. <laughs> when you're waiting for dinner to be ready and you're so hungry, choose to be patient and find a way to help. You can do it. Jesus can help you choose patience. Jesus can help you do everything. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me. 
Who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Simeon waited patiently to see Jesus, and we can learn to wait patiently too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Simeon waited patiently a long time for Jesus. Waiting is hard, but Jesus can help me choose patience. Patience can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Hey, one of our painted rocks from the beach has a clock on it. This can remind me to choose patience. Hey, it's time. We can feed Nemo now. patience. This week, ask a grown-up one thing they do to help themselves be patient. We'll see you next week.